Hey people, Demon here, and today I am reviewing Final Space Season 3, Episode 12. The second to last episode tomorrow, I mean not tomorrow, I mean the next episode will be the last episode. Uh, episode 13. So anyways, this episode, there will be spoilers by the way, it was fairly good. Um, there was a moment in there where, uh, I think it was, uh, Gary's mom didn't talk about her having to go with Kevin, which I thought was kind of weird. Cause like, she would probably say like, say like, oh, like, God damn it, <laughs> I have to go with Kevin, <laughs> uh, to fix the, to fix the space bridge cause they find it in this episode and they fix it and then... They don't go through it in time, so it breaks down once again, and now they're stuck in final space, and everybody's dying except for four people, which would be uh, Quinn. Quinn? Yeah, that's uh, Gary's girlfriend. Um, uh, Quinn. Uh, <laughs> Ash, that's her name, Ash. Um, the little tiger guy, because for some reason he can live in final space. And, um, also, uh, also, what, uh, Hugh. Uh, those are only four things that are living right now. Uh, of course, like, Evictus and the Titans and stuff. But other than those, those are only four people, only four beings, I guess, uh, that are living right now and can survive it. Uh, everybody else is dying. Um, just remind you to subscribe, hit that bell, like, comment, share this video, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok down below. So they find the bridge, they're all happy, it's getting repaired, and then at the end, it gets destroyed. <laughs> um, well, it doesn't get destroyed, it just gets turned off, overpowered, and they have to fix it somehow. But Avocado, uh, he finally is willing to tell his son about the whole killing his parents thing. Uh, which Ash overhears and goes berserk. Now, I gotta say, I I really dislike this whole narrative of him like, oh, I killed the king and queen and you were their son uh, and I took you in. I really dislike that. That's kind of stupid. Like, how much kids has he killed that he didn't take in? I don't know. It was just kind of dumb. Um, I feel like a better plot line, like, this, like that plot line was just kind of like out of left field. Like... It was just like, oh, like, by the way, uh, in season three, we find out that he killed Avocado's parents. He's not actually his parent. That's why. <laughs> it's kind of stupid. Um, I feel like there there could have been, like, a plot twist like that if it was led up to in the other seasons. Like, there was hints to it. Um, but I feel like a better plot twist would have been, like, he didn't kill their parents. He didn't kill, like, uh little avocado's parents what he actually did was kill little avocado's mother because i feel like a better plot line would have been like his wife telling him to stop and telling him to like lord commander is a crazy person like just stop sort of thing and trying to t like talk him out of it but like him being like so war bound that he ends up killing his own wife and then ends up taking his child because he can't go he can't like come to terms with killing his own child um but he would have killed his own wife and he would have like felt miserable for that and then like, and then he would have told avocado or he would have like said it to to gary and it would have been like really like oh my goodness you killed your own wife and they could have like left like little hints in there uh over the years i just feel like this was like something they just thought about <laughs> they just thought up this season just to get this one moment uh, from this episode. <laughs> it's kind of stupid. But I felt like it would have been better. I personally feel like it would have been better. If it was just like. He killed his own wife. Uh, instead of like him killing like. Avocado's parents. Randomly. It would have been way better if it's like. His wife tried to stop him but he killed her in the end. And feels like guilt about it. Instead of like him just killing the king and queen. And feeling guilt about it. I don't know. Just my personal opinion I guess. Anyways, besides the rant, <laughs> um, we have Ash going crazy and, like, for some reason, 
just hating Gary and Avocado, even though, like, she doesn't have the full backstory. Um, and then at one point she says, like, your parents were the king and queen of uh, your kind, pretty much. And it didn't really make sense because I don't remember Avocado telling her that at all. Like, what? <laughs> Like how'd you figure that out? Unless I wasn't, unless I didn't hear it when the, when I was watching it, I guess they could have said that, but I don't think they did. So she just kind of figures that out on her own, I guess. That's kind of dumb, uh, but whatever. Um, but she basically just freaks out, and I f I feel like it would have been better uh, the way I said it, like if he actually killed his mother and stuff like that. Um, but it feels like she's getting more and more taken over by Invictus. Uh, which probably would have stopped if she went back to normal space, but uh, she's obviously in final space, and she's getting more and more took over by Evictus. Um, so she freaks out, and she basically blames everybody on the ship, just calling them all assholes for one reason or another. <laughs> um, Gary for killing her brother, Avocado's dad, Avocado, I guess, not just Avocado's dad, but Avocado for lying to his son and killing his parents. Um, <laughs> uh, she blames Quinn for not being Nightfall because she can control that, I guess. Uh, and the rest of them, I guess she's just like, eh, fuck you guys. <laughs> and then she steals little Avocado and runs away. And Avocado doesn't want to go even though he knows his dad killed his parents at this point. Uh, but she steals them away anyways. And they go to meet Invictus. At least I think there's a sneak peek. By the way, that's a spoiler. <laughs> I spoiled you. I'm sorry. Uh, but there was a sneak peek I saw uh, where they go to see Invictus. Um, and maybe Invictus can heal his uh, sickness. But I'm assuming Evictus is just being Evictus and being evil and going to screw over Ash anyways. And it won't matter at the end. <laughs> Hopefully Ash will see uh, her wrongness and come back to the team. But who knows? Um, so yeah. I wonder if Ash will become a vessel for Evictus. Or maybe a little, little avocado. Who knows? Maybe Ash will become like a literal ve vessel for all of Invictus because she's so powerful. So maybe she will be able to like hold all of Invictus in her. I don't know. It'll be interesting. But anyways, she is uh, with Avocado, and uh, as I said, there was a sp there was like a, a preview of the next episode. Uh, so she's with Avocado with Invictus, and the group is going to find Avocado and rescue him. Before they all die from final space poisoning. And who's going to fix the bridge? Who knows? It's just there. Um, and it seems like it's wrapping up to a pretty good last episode. Can't wait to see it. Uh, hopefully it's good. But uh, who knows at this point. Could be horrible. Could be good. <laughs> uh, but hopefully it's good. Uh... I think this is the last season, but there could be another season, I guess. So, we'll have to see you next episode. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, and share. Hit that bell notification. That's the best way to get to the channel. Link down below to my Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. And as always, our friends, stay sane. Peace. Just remind you to subscribe, hit that bell, like, comment, and share this video. Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok down below. Channel, my baby, I love you so much. You're my baby. And you love to sleep in the bathtub. <laughs> Cause you're a weirdo. Shadow, look, look at everybody. Look over here. <laughs>